four points I'm going to cover in making a good travel video. Number one, be yourself. Don't try to be some chirpy, ridiculous dickhead like you see on a lot of these travel shows on TV. Just be yourself. If you're a miserable old bastard, be a miserable old bastard. Look at Anthony Bourdain. What do we like about Anthony Bourdain's show? He's believable. He spent, what, 28 years working in kitchens in New York. He comes across as believable. He just be himself. It works. Be yourself. Number two, be a storyteller. Putting together a series of pretty pictures to music is not a travel video. It's, a, it's more like a music video, please. I've seen you know, millions of dollars spent by various countries on tourism campaigns that are nothing more than music videos. You're not giving people anything. They're just seeing pretty pictures. Get a story across, tell a story. A good test to see if you've got that skill, sit down with some two-year-olds or some four-year-olds and see if you can keep their attention for five minutes. If you can do that, you can tell a story. Number three. Your opinion means shit. Let me repeat that. Your opinion means shit. Your opinion has been made up of your, your upbringing, your culture, your religious beliefs. And if you're gonna travel and if you're gonna make decent travel videos, you have to just put all that at the back of your mind and, and just accept what is. For example, the cockfighting um, I saw in Bali. You know, I, that is part of the culture. I would be remiss not to feature that. Um, you know, it's, it's very important. I'm, I'm in Malacca now and I don't feel ready to make a video about Malacca because I'm still feeling that my prejudices are coming through. I have to, I, I, I'm trying to find the true root of um, Malaysian culture. And um, I think what I'm realizing is that there's probably no true root. It's made up of Chinese, Indian, uh, you know, Malay, Portuguese, Dutch, English, all these influences of the Arab, you know, the religion, Islam, have, have influenced Malaysia over the ages as it has been a big trading area. Let's move on. In relation to number three, the next one's number four. Um, don't try and just tell the story yourself. Find local people to, to give you an idea. Interview local people. How do you find good local people? If you're, if you're, if you're meeting people, um, do you find them interesting? Are they a good conversationalist? Are they funny? Let me give you an example. I arrived in uh, Malacca at the bus terminal. There was a lot of people trying to you know, get people to stay at their hostels. They've got photos of their beds and blah, blah, blah. One little Chinese man approached me and, and you know, they're all showing the pictures of their, their, their beds and whatever. And um, he says, white sheets, they tell no lies. And I just thought, classic line. Um, he would have been you know, a very interesting guy to interview because he just had the gift of the gab. And some people do, some people don't. Uh, so, you know, um, if you find someone interesting, if they're, if they're a good conversationalist, and they're passionate about where they live, which is a big one. Um, I find, you know, um, people who are passionate about a place are sometimes better than people who um, just have something to sell, um, you know, if they're trying to push accommodation or whatever. So um, there you go, four things. I wanted to try and make this very quick. Um, sometimes I waffle on a bit, which is not a good thing about travel videos. So I'm gonna finish it up now.